Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and it's Pokemon's 20th anniversary. How cool is that? Pokemon's been around for 20 years. What better excuse than to 3D print some Pokemon? I'm game. You ready? Go. Ah, oh, welcome back. You remember these Pikachus, right? These Pikachus were printed in ColorFab PLA and printed hollow. That's right, there's no infill in these. In a video where I said, hey, stop wasting your filament. And a little tiny, tiny little Pikachu and a slightly bigger Pikachu, and they're both hollow. And I thought, I want some more, I want some more Pikachus. I, I need to print some more, so let's go get them off the printer. Let's first get this Pikachu off the build plate. This is, this is on the Dremel Idea, 3D Idea Builder. And this Pikachu was made with the Boots Super Premium PLA. Yoink. Oh, onto the Flash Forge Creator Pro. And this Pokemon is made with the Proto Pasta Stainless Steel. This is stainless steel, so we could, ooh, we could, we could shine that and polish it. Awesome. Yoink. Okay, now that, wait, what the, that's not a Pokemon. With Pokemon's 20th anniversary going on, even my daughter Riley got into the act. Come here, Riley. Look at this. What'd you draw? I drew Pikachu. And what's he got next to him? It's a Pokeball. That's a good drawing, Riley. Show the camera. That's a good drawing of Pikachu with a Pokeball. Thank you, Riley. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Okay. All of these Pikachus I'm about to show you were printed with identical settings. They're printed with three perimeters, four top layers, three bottom layers, a 0.2 millimeter layer height, and hollow, no infill. So here's, here's the first one. You saw me pull this off the Dremel 3D Idea Builder, and this was, this was printed with the Boots Super Premium PLA, which I'm testing right now. It's a fantastic filament. It does a really good job. The Dremel, the Dremel did okay on this model. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of, a little bit of um, layer artifacts. It's not as smooth as I hope it would be, but that's okay. Cause it's still Pikachu and Pikachu is awesome. This Pikachu is just uh, five inches. This is a five, a five inch Pikachu. Next up is the Pikachu we printed on the Flash Forge Creator Pro. And this was printed with Protopasta stainless steel. The Flash Forge Creator Pro doesn't have a filament fan. At least mine doesn't. It was one of the earlier ones. And and you see a little bit of stringing and some, some bubbling left when the nozzle had to move. And I could, I could probably mess with the retraction settings and I could probably mess with one or two other things, but, but those are easily, easily scraped off. And the quality of this model is, it, it blows me away. The Protopasta Exotic Filaments, I keep saying this, they print like butter. They lay down like a nice layer of butter and it's just, smooth on the outside. It looks, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. And this Pikachu happens to be six inches tall. That's not too bad. Pika Pika. Those Pokemon are great. And don't get me wrong, a five inch and a six inch tall Pokemon uh, or Pikachu is, is fantastic, right? They're, they're, they're wonderful little models and I can, they're, they're able to be held in my hand, but I want, I have G-Max printers. I can, <laughs> Let's print a life-size Pikachu. Let's do it. You ready?
I really need to come up with a better way to rig my time-lapse camera because, because the model was huge. It took up nearly the entire build volume. I need to, I need to back that camera up. I don't want to move it. I'm missing some things. All right, but holy crap! <laughs> look at, look at this. Look at this Pikachu. Look at this thing. This is, this is, this is huge. Look at, he's, he's life-size. This is a life-size Pikachu. This, all of these Pikachus are from Floalistic's model. So Floalistic is a user on Thingiverse who created a bunch of different low-poly Pokemon, and the Pikachu is my favorite. And this Pikachu is printed at 825% scale. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know the statistics on Pikachu, but I'm willing to wager this is really, really close to life size. Well, let's, let's bring out the tape measure for this thing. Okay, let's go by, let's go by this ear. And he is 20. This, this Pikachu is 20 inches tall, printed in one piece. The difference here was the, the print was done at 0.3 millimeter layers. And this yellow filament was thanks to Matt over at Printed Solid. Dot com. Thanks, Matt. Hey, you wanted me to use this yellow filament and put it to good use. How about, how about a life-size Pikachu for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon? I can't think of a better use. Holy cow, you guys! This is, this is, this is huge. It's I, I just want to cuddle with, I want to cuddle with Pikachu. Pika Pika. I originally announced that I was going to be printing this on Twitter in response to an Ultimaker tweet, and Ultimaker actually said. Holy cow, let us know when it's done. Every, everyone I know knows Pokemon or loves Pokemon, so I can't, I cannot wait to show this off. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Hey, that was, that was a lot of fun. Oh, printing a life-size Pikachu for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon is, is fantastic. Uh, I, hey, I, Pokemon, I hope you go another 20 years. It's, it's a fun game. My kids, my kids have all the cards. It's, it's wonderful. It's it, it's gaming and it brings people together. Just just keep it up, and I will keep 3D printing and attempting to go life size with with whatever I can. Well, you know we're at the end here. Please like this video if if you think it's cool. Give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions of, at all about what I talked about or if you need further clarification on things. I can't stress this enough. Please subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss what I have coming up. And I think there's going to be a subscribe button right here. I'm going to try to remember to put that in. So just, just click that button. Thanks again to my patrons at patreon.com. Your support means so much to me and I'm able to do so much more thanks to the dollar or so a month you're, you're giving me. Again, I stress, please don't give me any money if you don't want to. I'm going to keep doing this regardless, but the monetary support helps and builds the channel and you can, you can give a dollar a month right there if you truly want to. Otherwise, I socially accept high fives. Well, we've reached the end. What do you think, Pika? Pika, Pika. That wasn't him, that was me, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I really, I, I really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. I hope to see you again. As always, high five.